How's everybody doing today? Just thought that we would uh, take a look at a few, a little selection of, uh, started off as a selection of revolvers and then a couple of derringers got mixed in there. So I'm just going to say this is just a look at a selection of some non-automatic pistols. Um, just for fun, just wanted to show some differences and some stuff and show some, uh, just the, you know, variants that's out there. Uh, I kind of have them laid out by caliber, sort of, uh, really just kind of, you know, groups here. Um, let's get down here and we'll kind of take a look at a couple things. Uh, this is a Taurus that we have, uh, a little Taurus 44. Um, has these grips on it. I love these grips. These are also one of my wife's favorite grips to shoot with. Um, these things are just super comfortable. Uh, the double action on these Tauruses, there's two of them here total. The, the double action on them is the best double action I've ever shot on a double action revolver. Uh, big revolver fan. And these are just, I mean, great bang for your buck. Uh, there's another 44 right here. The, uh, this is a Super Blackhawk. It's a bicentennial edition. Um, it's just a neat gun. It's uh, I don't know, it's very western looking. It has the big barrel on it and stuff. Everybody kind of likes that one. That thing kicks like a mule. So uh, these are definitely forty four is definitely not like an entry level pistol. I would definitely not recommend that for your first one. Uh, moving on over, we have the forty uh, fives here. It's a Uberty which is a very nice gun, very very good quality, well made uh, from Italy. Um, then you have the uh, another Ruger, uh, polished Ruger here. Uh, it's a you know cowboy looking gun. I, I particularly think this is one of the best looking guns laid out here today. Um, just really good looking, I mean just high quality. The polishing on it's high quality. Um, once again 45. And then, of course, moving on with the 45s, we have a Judge. Another, once again, the other Taurus, uh, single and double action. These grips, just, I mean, whether you're shooting 45 out of it or the 410 shotgun shells, it's uh, super comfortable. Just a good gun to shoot. Um, also, people, you know, it's another one of those things where it's an eye catcher. You know, if you have it hanging on the wall or whatever you're going to do with it. Um, you know, the, the length of this cylinder definitely makes people look at it. Um, moving on, this is, we did a video about this earlier, this is the Rossi, that is, uh, not really, it's not a recall, but it's gonna go back to the manufacturer. Um, here we have another Italian-made gun, I'm not as familiar with this one, um, this is just, these were both 357s that I wanted to show, 357 revolvers, this is a single-action only gun. Uh, very much more cowboy style. This would be good for, you know, if you're going to get into cowboy shooting or something like that. Uh, the reason these are, you know, the, all the other ones, you know, except for the judge, have one shell laid by them because, or one round, because that's the round that they shoot. Um, you know, the judge takes two. The judge takes the uh, 45 and the 410 shotgun round. Uh, the 357 is one of those things where people ask me sometimes, like, well, if I was just going to buy one gun, you know, I was only, I, I'm only going to buy one. That's, you know, I want it to be my shooting gun, keep in my house, all that good stuff. Um, I would say 357 because you can shoot 357, you can shoot 38, you get, you know, it's basically two guns for the price of one and kind of, kind of see the difference there in the two. I mean, it's, don't look like much in the video, but shooting them is a massive difference. Uh, the 30 is a lot cheaper, a lot easier to shoot, just to learn how to plink. Uh, if you're going to teach somebody, maybe your significant other, something to shoot, that's just, you know, starting with the 38, and then they always know they can work up to that 357, and uh, 357 is a lot of stopping power. So, uh, moving on down, we have the uh, Hammerless 38 here. Um, Really can't find, I mean, there's a couple guys making them that are super crazy expensive. Really can't find a hammerless 357. Uh, I just, you know, I'm, I'm no expert. I don't know if the frames can't take it or what. This is this is the lightest gun on the table. This gun's probably actually lighter. Oh, maybe not that one, but it, it, it's definitely lighter than this, uh, than this Derringer is. Um, this is a Smith & Wesson. Very nice gun. Very happy with this gun. 
Um, the only thing is the weight of it, it is super light. So whenever you're shooting this gun, even with the 38, it kicks about like the 357 would in one of these heavier framed guns. So it's always something to keep in mind. The lighter the gun, the worse it's going to hurt you when it kicks eight. So, um, and then we, yeah, we have a nine millimeter Derringer here, just a little polished Derringer. Um, you know, you get two shots with it. The trigger on this is um, incredibly bad. It's just a square chunk of metal that you have to force back into the gun. And uh, if you had to hit anything any further than arm's reach, you're probably not going to hit it because you're going to be using everything you have to flex that trigger. And uh, it's just, it's it's not a fun gun to shoot at all. <laughs> it's it's not. With the 9mm and uh, the way the handle's shaped and everything, it bruises your hand. And it's just, uh, it, it's neat to look at and go, hey, look, I have a Derringer, and that's the end of that. Um, 22 long rifle, or 20, um, yeah, 22 Magnum Derringer. Uh, you know, th this one is a good gun. I, you know, a lot of times when I'm going mushroom hunting, you know, this is one of my personal ones. Uh, a lot of times when I'm going mushroom hunting or something, you know, stick this in your pocket. You're good to go, you know, something, you know, who knows, but you you have two shots, it's super lightweight, it's just lighter, just a little bit lighter than that, um, and yeah, you have two shots, and the trigger on this one, because it's, you know, a smaller gun, isn't near as bad, um, it's kind of neat looking, you know, whatever, and then this one I just thought I'd throw in here, because it's kind of a little oddity, no idea who made it, uh, don't really know much about it, it was my, you know, it, it was some somebody's grandmother's. Uh, it shoots a 22 short, little pearl handles here, and compared to the rest of the guns, even next to, you know, the, the other Derringers, it really just kind of looks like a toy. Uh, obviously it's not, it's a, you know, real gun, 22 long rifle, or, 20, I'm sorry, 22 short, keep it locked up, but, um, well, that's pretty much all I had. I just thought it'd be, uh, fun to look at this kind of sampling of pistols here, and, uh, you know, if there's any of them you guys would like to see more of, or know more about, or, you know, uh, if you want to see him shot, maybe, I, I don't know, just whatever. Uh, let me know in the comments. And uh, All right, thanks.